how to make your own lens tube adapter at home using a pretty solid piece of cardboard out of the center of a brown paper towel roll. The things you'll need for this are a solid or you know the more sturdy um, pieces of cardboard out of the paper towels you would find at like a school or a hospital those brown paper towels they have a really solid uh, core to them and they're the best thing to use for making this you'll need a pair of scissors uh, preferably something sharp enough to go through this cardboard tube because it is actually a pretty solid piece of cardboard You'll need painter's tape. You can use any kind of tape really, but um, I prefer painter's tape because it is a papery material and can easily be molded and shaped using paper mache type methods to make the mold better. Oh yeah, you'll also need the uh, lens that you're going to use to make the adaption for. So obviously this only works for specific setups like for example uh, this lens just barely it's one millimeter off from fitting on my camera and of course the threads just won't hold it so you know when you have a camera that the thread number or the uh, the uh, circumference of it it's weird right it's like 51 millimeters nobody just has an abundance of 51 millimeter lenses it's usually 52 so I'm stuck with alternatives like this, and honestly, it's just to save $11. But say you're in a situation where you're not just being really cheap like me, and you want to put a lens on your camera that's pretty close to fitting, you know, 5mm range on or off, too big or too small within the 5mm range, but you don't have the right size, period. It's just not the right size. Well, what you can do is you can take this, right? You take the pair of scissors and you cut it up the middle of the tube. Just cut it up it, right? And of course, it's going to take a little effort because this is a solid piece of cardboard. So you just, you want it to be a straight line right and if you're like a kid watching this just you know have an adult help you I mean like you're gonna do whatever you want to do but I'm gonna tell you that just so that your mommy and daddy can't get mad at me if you hurt yourself with a pair of scissors so once you get it cut it'll you'll be able to separate it like that so basically this is going to be expanded to fit around the outside of my camera. Not the part of the camera where the lens goes into the camera, but the part, okay. So basically you want this to fit around your camera, like so. So it will fit around my camera like this, okay? Just like that. Except, of course, this is way too much cardboard and I kind of look funny. So as you can see from this picture, it's just sitting around the outside edge of my camera where the lens collapses into the camera. You know, like when you zoom in and out or when you shut off the camera, that little round piece where it goes back into there, it's sitting on there. But as you could also see, it's really long. It's much too much. It's too much damn room taken up. So what we're going to do is we're going to trim this down this way now to our liking. Now remember to keep in mind that you want space for zooming in and out because especially if you have a fisheye lens with a macro or just like any lens that's you know like gonna be sitting in there as far as this one is. This one's sitting in here I think about right here. This much there's this much lens and length within this entire cardboard piece. So obviously because it's a fisheye I'll have to zoom in a little bit to eliminate some of the um, ring around the view and to you know you know what I mean if you've used a fisheye lens oh you know the thing <laughs> okay so 
For mine, I know that my lens is going to take up about this, I'm going to guess around this much space within here, okay? So I want to trim off about that much. So I'm going to, and you don't, it don't have to be perfect. This is just me showing you what I do. It's DIY, and the best part about DIY is you can do this however the hell you want. You don't have to have a perfect setup as long as it makes you able to use your lens temporarily until you can get the proper setup. Which honestly I'm never, well I say never, I'm probably not going to get the right setup for a while because new cameras are expensive and I don't have enough money to buy a new camera. This camera has to last me for at least a year unless I become more fortunate. Okay, so now you've got these two pieces and you're wondering, well, okay, but still the uh, cardboard doesn't properly fit around the damn lens or whatever, right? And yeah, you're right, it doesn't. And you don't want the tape to get stuck to the camera and all that crap. So what you do is you've got this one half right here, right? And then you've got the shorter half. Well, you want to put that right over that and what that does is that eliminates this gap from being exposed to the camera while it's sitting on it. And I know you're thinking, oh, well, this is going to be ugly and stretched out. Well, you're the one watching the video trying to get a tutorial for a DIY lens adapter. So don't be bothering me with that stuff. So basically, this is, it's going to be overlapping and... You know that's totally cool but what you want to do is you want to fit it around the camera so you want to take off that extra piece and you want to sit it around the camera just like in the photograph i showed you that's also on the screen right now and you want to take this piece and sit it on top of it while it's resting on there you do not want the camera to be turned on at this time you could damage the piece where the actual camera lens is held so once it's on there and it's properly fitted and this line is covered up where the lens is at. Then what you want to do is you want to make sure to take your lens and put it in the end that is not going to be attached to the camera so that you make sure that it's properly fitting in there. So after that you want to take your painters tape and you want to um, basically you want to tape around this the spot that's on the camera right so that you know that it's you know held together well and in place where you need it to fit on your camera so once you have that then you want to also tape all of this all of this you want covered in tape so that it's held in place exactly where it needs to be according to how it is on the side the camera's on and the side the lens is in following me I hope so because I talk too much and sometimes I don't make sense but I hope this makes sense so basically you've got this side the camera it's sitting on the camera on this side with this cardboard piece over top of it you tape that all together to make sure it's held in place exactly where it needs to be held in place in the exact circumference around the cardboard this side is going to be the side your lens is on and your lens you're going to be keeping it on this tube adapter because this tube adapter is specifically for that lens to be sitting on that camera. Now you don't want this side to be taped onto the camera because you want to be able to take this tube adapter off. So you want to make sure that it's snug enough or that it's held on there with another piece of material in a non-permanent way. So that you know you can take it on and off the camera just like this which by the way stays on good. What I've done is I put extra tape around the edge and I just it gives it just enough pressure around the edge of my camera to hold it in place snug. On top of the fact that I, you know, made sure to tape it on there snug while it was on the camera. So once you've got tape here, tape here, lens mounted in, this all fitted on this side onto the camera, then you want to take it off, okay? Now once you take it off, you'll have something like this. This is the shorter version of my lens adapter. Um, the other one is for when I want to eliminate um, any sign that it's a fisheye besides the bubbly look. Like if I want to get rid of that black ring around the outside edge, I can with this longer tube. As you can see, there's a size difference. 
Size doesn't always matter, but sometimes it does, people. And when it comes to space for zooming in and out with your camera, it matters. So this will be a slightly finished result. I say slightly because I usually paint with black paint marker. As you can see, I've modified it here and there and added more tape. Um, it's not because it didn't perform well, it's because I just wanted to shorten this one up because it was long, but then I decided to make this tutorial. So now you've got the tape on here, the lens, I can fling this thing all around and that lens ain't coming out. It ain't coming out because I followed my steps. And then I just, I use a paint marker, color it all in to match my camera. Um, you don't have to do that, but you can. It's that simple. Uh, it may take one or two tries for you to figure it out completely, but that's how I did that. So that is my tutorial on how to make a lens tube adapter. Now, this fisheye lens that I have on my old DV camcorder, uh, I converted it to digital. This one was made in a similar way, except I used a toilet paper roll cardboard from the center of a toilet paper roll because this lens is much smaller and has almost no weight to it. So it doesn't affect it by having the more flimsy cardboard. What I did with this one was instead of cutting it straight down the middle and doing all this stuff, I took about this much of a uh, the middle of a toilet paper roll, right? And I cut it out in order for one side to fit flush with the shape of the camcorder, which actually just goes like, like a 90 degree angle, right? So I cut the cardboard out to go at a 90 degree angle so that the top here could rest on the camera, okay? About like that and wrap around the top of it a little bit. But then I've also got this extra cardboard here as to where it's not back here because I trimmed that up because I cut it at a 90 degree angle right here. And then I left this as circular and this is a half circle so that I can put the lens in here and then this rests on top of my DV camcorder. Then I just taped it to stay on the DV camcorder, taped the lens just like I did in the other one I just showed you. That is how I make my um, DIY do-it-yourself lens adapters. So basically I can make just about any lens fit my cameras with cardboard and tape and scissors. So that's today's tutorial. I hope you liked it and I hope that it helps you uh, people who don't have the extra money or are just cheap like me. I hope it helps you have a new way to save money and still get the benefits of a different lens on your camera. Just because your camera doesn't come with aftermarket accessories doesn't mean that there's not a do-it-yourself way out there for you to do this. So yeah give it a go give it a shot um let me know how it goes in the comments when you do it for yourself also don't forget to send in your clips for your favorite skate spot for me to review also don't forget to click on the link below for my website to check out my store if there are any issues with it nobody's actually bought anything from it yet so just let me know and i will correct it for you and i will correspond with you properly you can use the email below for the uh, skate spots to let me know any issues with the website as well.